All right, so this is going to be kind of a dual purpose video. Um, I'm going to run through just the basic stuff that I know on Reaper, and I'm going to fiddle with the uh, Metal Guitar Gods 3 a little bit. Some presets and some of the presets that I favorited. So, anyway, here's what we're going to do. Like that. Starting out with this. Um, I've got all my inputs muted here because I'm running the basically all the sound out of the computer into a mixer back into the computer because uh, the screen capture software will not record in stereo. It will only take one input. It will not take uh, any uh, like Easy Mix 2 here or Easy Drummer. Reaper doesn't work in it either. It doesn't take any Anything that uses ASIO drivers doesn't work with it. So, anyways, uh, solve that problem there. Gonna open up Reaper. Okay. Now, the basic thing, the most important thing to understand here is options up here. Options, preferences, then audio device. So you should be using ASIO or something similar to that right there. Uh, it's got a bunch of things you can select from, but ASIO, um, using a Focusrite Scarlet 6i6. So that's my driver. Enable inputs. So you got mic one, basically Inputs 1 and 2 are on the front of the card. Inputs 3 and 4 are on the back of the card. Um, I don't really know how to hook, hook a keyboard up to it, but this would be how you would do it. You'd figure out your audio system, your driver. It should be ASIO, um, especially since that keyboard came with Cubase. Um, so, uh, you know, your first one you can select, uh, Mic 1. Last one, you could go all the way to spit if, um, but I just stop at line four. Okay, so and then there's your output range. Um, I just use mo monitor one and two, but you can select any of those. But I just use monitor, well, I just switched it to one like a dumbass. <laughs> okay, um, never really messed with this at all. It sounds fine as it came when it installed itself. So that's basically it. Um, okay. Um, some people like to use the keyboard. Some people like to use uh, up here. You can, you know, select your things up here. Uh, I tend to uh, already has kind of its own project opened up. So, or you could put a new project um, if you were already working in a project. But uh, I just like to use right clicks. So I'll just right click and do uh, insert new track. Um, then I will uh, basically choose uh, mic 2 because that's what the guitar is plugged into. So I'm using mic 2. Now to hear anything, you've got an arm track for recording. Hey. Okay. Now you see it down here. This is the same thing as here. Um, now the only trick with this is now you got to use input monitoring, which is this right here. Uh, I just like to turn it on. So record monitoring on. Um, you can hear the guitar. I will shut the mic off here, the condenser mic here in a minute, and I'll start playing with it. Um, but okay, next thing up is FX. Um, now if you've uh, installed your plugins right you should pop right up in this folder here uh, you got all plugins you can choose uh, VSTs VSTIs um, I just put all plugins and easy mixes right here at the top okay so I already got loaded up into um, so here's all your presets um, all the packs I got are ambient Lead vocal, lo-fi, mastering one and two, and Metal Guitar Gods three. So I'm going to start out with Metal Guitar Gods three, but I'm going to go to my favorites. 
Okay. And nothing's on there right now, but we're about to load clean guitar. Okay. So you can see what I'm using here. I'm going to go ahead and kill the mic so that I don't get the mic sound with the guitar clicking away. Tend to like the Cobra here, not too bad. Definitely a lot more scooped out. I tend to think uh, no matter whether you were recording it with a mic and just recording a real amp or you were using this, there should always be a Marshall in there. I think a Marshall center panned, maybe cut back a little bit because the thing about the Marshall, it's got so much mid-range, it just runs everything else over. So you use this mic for the uh, main sound, or I mean the uh, um, patch for the main sound, and then put the Marshall in there, and maybe do like a hard left, hard right. Uh, that's the cool thing about this. I mean, you can take, uh, you can just ro uh, record one guitar part and then put three different amp sounds on it. I mean, you don't got to record the guitar, then record it again with a different amp or any of that crap. Um, I think it works pretty good. It definitely works really good for demoing. change it a little bit you can change the you know crank the drive or cut the drive back even more <laughs> let's see here swing that I tend to like this uh, uh, the Andy James sounds on here are both Adam D and the uh, Andy James sounds are just right on point uh, the other ones, eh, they're all right, I guess. Some of them are okay. Um, let's see. Now I'll maybe do a few of the presets, just selecting uh, Metal Guitar Gods only. <laughs> Thank you. 
It's your balls to the wall, motherfucker. <laughs> These Black Star sounds aren't too bad either. One thing about the lead ones is that some of the delays and reverb sound a little bit harsh. The tones aren't bad, but a little bit harsh. <laughs> bit scooped not bad Now see that's a uh, that's kind of a stereo delay right there. You're not going to be able to uh, hear that in my recording because I can only record in mono with this uh, screen capture program, and I'm not going to fuck around with trying to do a bunch of post editing to get it in stereo. <laughs> This is not too bad.
Looks like we're getting a little too much too input gain or something. Too much input gain. Or a cool thing you can do if it seems like it's peeking stuff out or clipping or something, just roll back the gains on them. So, that's basically it. Um, I can definitely rep recommend Reaper, I know that, because uh, I, I might have had it crash one time. Um, it's been really good, especially for 60 bucks. I mean, all these other programs, yeah. <laughs> 60 bucks with Reaper, you pretty much get everything you need. Um, it's pretty easy to operate. Um, it's been the best DAW I've ever tried to work with. And going back to the day, I mean, we had versions of Sonar, uh, had Cubase 5. Um, they're all fine, but uh, what was it last year? We bought, uh, or my buddy bought uh, Cubase 7, I think it was. It was like 700 bucks. I mean, this here is easily as good as that for a fraction of the cost. So um, that's basically it. Um, and of course, like I say, you can uh, insert tracks, you can right click on this and get, um, you know, use this here if you want to record the sound that the FX is making. Um, you can also right click here and change settings there. Um, there's quite a few things on it. I'm not a total expert user on it, but I've been able to make it work pretty decent so far. Um, so that's basically it. Um, another cool program is Easy Drummer 2 here, but I might mess with that in another video or something. Uh, that's it.